Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Race to King and today we're here to talk about the new games coming out this month. Now it is October and I am a little bit late making this video. Normally I like to crank these out on the very first day of the new month, but honestly I've just rebuilt the office, which you can probably tell. It looks a little bit different now. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty excited to finally have this new space. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about the brand new games that we have coming out this month. Now I'm going to be real. It's a little bit sparse. It's a little bit sparse this month. But as we always know, mid-month we tend to get like another little drop of games. So this is what we know about for now. And I'm sure there'll be more to come in the future. Anyway, let's freaking dive straight into the new games. So first up, we have Wand Alliances coming to Steam, which is pretty awesome because it means we're finally going to have a PC VR version of this, which also means we have a bigger player base of people coming into this because I think it's cross-play, so you'll be able to have the Quest players and the PC VR English. I can't speak today. So you'll be able to have a mixture between the PC VR players and of course the Quest players being able to jump in this as well, which hopefully means the servers will stay inhabited for longer. I have played this game on the channel before, it's a freaking ball. They also have a new game mode coming out pretty soon, I think it's this week as well alongside the launch. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on around this game and if you haven't played it, it is a PvP wand firing game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a slightly better explanation behind this. So you go up in teams and you have to fight to take over points, fight each other, take each other out using freaking magic spells. There's a ton of magical spells that you can use to uh, basically enhance the different things that you can do with your wand. It's freaking dope. If you ever wanted to be Harry Potter, then yeah, this is probably going to be for you and you can then go off and think of your Leviosa. Some people. Harry Potter. <laughs> Yeah, I've got too much energy today. Let's go into the next game. Next up, we have Runner. This game has had my attention from the very first time I saw the trailers for this. It just looks so damn exciting. I I'm, I'm excited. You're gonna go on a bike and you're gonna razz your way, 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 way through the world and you're going to have a bunch of gunfights along the journey. So in this you can unlock a ton of different bikes, you can unlock a ton of different weapons and I'm really hoping there's going to be some sick freaking boss fights mixed in with the mix on this because I feel like this game has the potential to be something pretty freaking awesome. It really has like a sort of anime 80s sort of style feel to it and I'm all for it. The music in this seems absolutely freaking dope as well and I will be covering this when it drops later this week on the channel so make sure you keep your eyes all peopled and ready to watch because I will be covering this game and I'm very very excited to show it to you. Definitely keep your eye on this one as I feel like that fast paced action is something we've been missing recently so I'm hyped. I know we had Bone Labs come out last week. I said Bone Labs just to trigger some people. I know we had Bone Lab come out last week, so everyone's still on the hype train of the Bone Lab, whether you liked it or hated it, but nonetheless, we still have new stuff to go and experience. And for those that didn't want to play Bone Lab, well, here you go. Here's a freaking treat for you. Next up on the PC side of things, we have Dead Second coming to Steam. Now, I have covered this game a few times on the channel because I think it's freaking awesome. It's like the ultimate time crisis game mixed in with some extra freaking spice. I love this game. It's got a ton of cool stuff done to it. The developer works incredibly hard to make this game the best it can possibly be. So honestly, if you haven't checked this out, make sure you check it out. If you're a purely PC VR player, then this is your time to shine and go and enjoy this. Now it's been available on the Oculus Store for a little while, but coming to Steam, I feel like, you know, it's not a dead store like the Oculus PC store is because they don't do anything with it and it hasn't been updated in a very long time. Anywho, we're focusing on the game here. So I'm freaking excited to be able to show you this. Definitely, definitely, definitely go pick this up if you haven't already. Like I say, if I haven't sold it enough already, Time Crisis VR Epic Cool Shooty Guns. Next up, we have Town Scraper, a new little city type building game. So it looks interesting. There's not a lot you can take away from the trailer from this one. It's a guy with like a weird sort of trash picking up hook, placing down cities and uh, building your own cool little sort of cityscape. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of this one too much. I only know what I've seen from the trailer and stuff. I haven't spoken to the developer or anything on this one, so I don't know a bust in amount. It looks pretty exciting in the sense that like, if you want to be super zen-like chilled and build a little city, then this is going to be for you. If it's not, 
then I guess it's not. But either way, <laughs> I feel like these kinds of games are definitely a hit or miss type of situation. Uh, VR, we tend to sort of gear more towards the action side of things than the relaxing side of things, but it's up to you. Some people like to chill out in VR. Myself, I kind of like doing it. Things like Little Cities are very appealing to me if I just want to mong out and relax and chill out and uh, just play a game, you know? So I like these kind of things. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you care about this? Are you excited for it? I'm excited to know. Do you like my new background? I made it last night. Very pleased with it. Also have a lovely standing desk now, so I can stand. Isn't that nice? Should we get back to the games? Okay. Next up we have a game called Kotoffel. I think that's how you say it. Maybe. Anyway, this new game is coming out pretty soon. It's kind of like a Lemmings-esque experience, so you're going to go through having to solve puzzles by doing various things and able to get all of your spuds through the game. <laughs> I feel like the most uneducated I've ever been talking about a game. But it has literally just dropped on us and I've just literally added this into the video, so don't tell anyone. Movie magic. Anywho, this game looks pretty interesting to me. I kind of like these kind of things. I definitely feel this falls into the same sort of thing as the other city builder type one, where you either love or hate this type of thing. I do think that platforming type games, they do work in virtual reality, so I'm kind of excited to see this. Again, if you're just looking for a bit more of a laid back, chilled experience, and you just want to get some little spud lemming dudes through some puzzles, then this one could be for you. Or not. Either way. Let me know in the comments down below, I'm very interested to know. Now we are in like the spoopy month. So being in the spoopy month means that hopefully we're gonna get some spoopy games dropping. Uh, it seems a little bit odd to me that they're not capitalizing on this month just yet. But again, as I say, this is early in the month. I have a feeling we're probably gonna get some cool stuff dropping a little bit later in the month. Fingers crossed. Because it's freaking spooptober, baby. We should, we should, be seeing some scary games. Not that I want to play scary games because I'm a big scaredy cat. When it comes to scary games in virtual reality as, you know, things like Resident Evil really ruined my day. And I'm not talking about the Oculus Quest one, I'm talking about the PC, uh, the PSVR version that they came out back in the day. That kind of ruined me that game for spoopy games. Anyway, this isn't story time with Reese. This is releases coming out this month. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do support it by smashing like and sharing it with your old buddy. Hey buddy, you should watch this. Or just click the button and share it with a friend. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this video. I've been Reese the King. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.